Well, hello. Howdy. How are you? Uh, welcome to another episode of the Short, Pale, and Hands podcast. I'm your boy, Lloyd Lee. Today is Monday, May 6th. Yes, we're going to go with May 6th. Uh, how's your ma? How are you? How was your week? How was everything? Did you miss me? Uh, did you have something to talk about this time around? Uh, you've been silent lately, so I figure um, I'll check in on you. See how you're doing. It's your boy, Loy Lee. Uh, it is uh, d- another day, another podcast. I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I'm growing my hair out, so if you guys are watching this on YouTube, you can see that my hair is uh, long. I'm growing it out like Jon Snow, so the North remembers. Now, I don't really know what I'm doing with my hair. Uh, It hasn't been this long in forever. And when it was this long, I was straightening it. So I don't even know what my hair is doing. It's like curling, but not really. I got waves, but not really. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going on this journey. I just know that I'm on one. So let's see how this goes. Right now, I am just going to grow it out until I go to the Philippines, get it cut probably right before I leave and go from there. I might just be fed up and just go shave it, shave it all, which I've done. I've, I've done that, too. I thought I was going bald, and I am, kind of, like, not in a good way, but I'm kind of balding, so I shaved it, I shaved it for, like, two years, and realized, ah, eh, maybe, maybe it's not so bad, and then, um, now I just decided, you know what, fuck it, let it all grow out, let's see where it goes, I haven't cut my hair in three weeks, yeah, let's go with three weeks, and that's not necessarily a long time, but I'm starting to feel it. It's starting to get warm out here. That's why I'm not even wearing any shoes in the house. It's warm. Summer is about to be here. So I figure it's going to get hot. It's going to get bad. It's going to get humid. And then when I go to the Philippines, it's going to even be even more hot and even more warm and humid and gnarly so i don't know i don't know where i'm going with this but i all i know is i'm doing it uh how was your week my wife got a jab so you know i get to focus on this more full time and that's exciting because for the first few days that i haven't really done anything i've been at home i've been cleaning i've been cooking I feel like a, I feel like a kept man. My wife's not home. The house is empty. I'm in here vacuuming with pearls on and shit. And it feels amazing. Two days in, I've got the bathroom cleaned. I got the kitchen cleaned. I got the rugs vacuumed. I got the laundry done. Woo! And now I am just doing this stuff. And I've come to the conclusion that you know, I, I don't think that I'm going to be able to get to the next level without everybody. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the next level of comedy until I can start bringing people in, until I can start selling out shows. And then when I start selling out shows, then I'll be able to sell out weekends. And then it's going to be a long road. But I've been focusing on building. And if you've noticed my Instagram account, I have been working nonstop. So, um. I'm changing my focus just slightly, making a course correction. I'm trying to be Instagram famous, but still be able to do stand-up at the same time. A lot of times, people become Instagram famous, and they can't, and then they jump into stand-up, and stand-up takes a long time. I think it's harder to be a stand-up, but now that I'm a stand-up, I would say it's probably harder to be Instagram famous because I am not Instagram famous. But I think uh, that is what I have to do, you know, because until you get noticed, you got to start making people notice you. Don't write that down. That's not really. (laughs) That's that's not a quote. That's not a thing. But I want to give a shout out to uh, the people over there at Asian Flush. This is kind of an ad. Not really. They sent me a free game and it's called Asian Flush. And, you know, it's. 
spelled A Z N flush. And I was like, well, for the love of God, I, I can't say no. If you're not familiar with Asian flush, it is, and I quote, made for Asian Americans. Asian flush is the funniest party drinking game this side of Koreatown. Each box contains 110 hilarious cards with unique game rules designed to help you get your night started right. And this is a game that I want to play with everybody when I go live or like on the weekend or something where we're just drinking. But for example, uh, I will pull a card out and it says the first card. If your teacher couldn't pronounce your name right on the first day of school, take three sips. So you could see where we understand that this is a thing. Why do you think... Like everyone always makes fun of us. Well, uh, why do you name yourself Jimmy Johnny or Timmy Tommy or something? We even though when your name is fucking Huang, well, why don't you just call yourself Huang? Because a lot of people can't pronounce it. I'm not changing my name for you, motherfucker. I'm changing it so I don't have to fucking deal with you butchering my name. My name's Loy, and I'm probably mispronouncing because I don't speak Chinese. But even then, people done fucked it up, especially on the first day. And when they go alphabetical, it's like. L, you know exactly where your name's coming. Uh, if you played League of Legends, instead of studying for your math exam, take seven steps. I know what League of Legends is, and I know what a math exam is, but I didn't have done, haven't done either. Last time I took a math exam, League of Legends was probably not a thing. What else? There's, there's, there's other ones. There's like 110 hilarious cards and, you know, it's great to tell stories, talk talk to people. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry, I can't get this out. If you love K-pop but aren't Korean, take three sips. I'm not Korean and I don't like K-pop, but I could definitely see why some people would be getting drunk. So uh, if you want to play this with me, check out my live stream. Uh, I will play this and talk and play this and talk like I normally do, and I will drink. So that should be exciting. But if you want to play with your friends, all you got to go to, all you got to do is go to uh, Asian Flush. The website's not on here. Uh, I found them on Instagram, and I gave them a shout-out, and they hit me with this. Uh, they even gave me a card. Wait, no, a discount code. That's what I'm trying to say. They gave me a discount code. It's Loy Lee 15 for 15% off. So all you got to do is go to Asian Flush, A-Z-N-Flush.com. And I'm not 100% positive that's what it is, but let's find out. A-Z-N-F-L-U, Flush. Yep, AsianFlush.com. And throw in uh, my discount code. I don't get paid for it. Uh, this is not something that they've paid me to do, but I want it, uh, you know... I, I'm a fan. I'm a fan, and it's going to be fun, and I'm going to play it with everybody um, going live. So, uh, da, 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 da. let me, yeah, Loy Lee 15. So that's, so that's fun. So get 15% off and uh, go look them up. Have fun. Drink. Get drunk. Be Asian. And, you know, I like to support the things that uh, make good business sense, and that's fun for me. So uh, shout out to them. Is there any other things I had to shout out? No? Asian Flush? That's all I got. Okay, great, great. As you can tell, I don't get paid to do reads or anything like that because I am pretty horrible at it. But on that note, uh, what happened this week? Uh, Game of Thrones. Not my favorite episode. I feel like the this was the episode. Now, I don't know how you're going to follow up that last episode with this episode. But spoiler alert, this episode was not that exciting to me anyways. Um, of course, it's just setting up the final one. It's just reinforcing things that we already knew. Reinforcing the fact that Cersei is a and that she is not to be played around with. She's not negotiating. She is uh, just in it to win it. And then I'm just, after watching the last episode and watching this episode, I've come to the conclusion that 
I think I would be a phenomenal military strategist. Strategist? Strategologist? Strategist. Whatever those guys are. Because I'm watching, and none of this shit makes sense. It's like, I don't think, uh, yes, Loy, I understand that this is not the way the military worked. It's just the fucking TV show. I get it. I get it. But I was like, there's got to be better ways to fight this war. You know, you got a dragon, and you're like, whoa, 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 they got the fucking huge crossbow things. Yeah, go at night. Burn that shit. Just burn the walls. You don't have to kill anybody. That's not on the wall, but fucking light the walls up at night. Come from up up, above. Fly up, fly over, fly down. Burn the walls. There it is. No crossbow problem whatsoever. By the time they realize they're fucked, they're already fucked. Like, I watch that. uh, I watch these Revolutionary War uh, shows. Like, I finished watching Turn. That was pretty dope. But... I mean, how do you, how much bullshit do you have to pitch to get people to stand in line in single file and take turns shooting at each other? Like, that is a lot of convincing. I don't think I could convince somebody, like, okay, this is what you're gonna do. Yes, you're third in line, but when the guy in front of you falls, you pick up his rifle because, yeah, we don't have enough rifles. Pick that rifle up and then keep on going forward and shoot. If you get to the other side, we'll fucking queen you like checkers or some shit. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Just get to the other side. The other side of the field where the other guys are. Just keep on shooting one at a time, yes. I don't think... I, I don't think I have it in me to convince some farmer to be like, yeah, this is a good idea. Especially, especially after they survived the first battle. They survived the first battle and saw all that carnage. You'd be like, okay, guys, get back in line. Go fuck yourself. We're not getting in line. Get the fuck out of here. I Oh, I, I'm first in line? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to come up short, motherfucker. <laughs> Hilarious. And then you get caught. You know, like, oh, where are you going? Oh, I, I live uh, around the way, around the corner. Show me your ID. It's just a piece of paper with maybe a, a fucking pencil drawing of your face. What are you going to do? Like, or you, there were no IDs back then. You're like, oh, what's your name? Uh, fucking John Nee Walker, McAllen something or other. Jameson, Jameson McAllen Walker Jr. <laughs> like, there'd be no way to not prove it. There'd be like no way to be like, uh, nope, your ID says something else. Like, motherfucker, it's a piece of paper. Leave that shit. Have you ever fought in the army? Never fought in the army, sir. I'm a farmer from around the way. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think I'd be a phenomenal Game of Thrones strategist. And it's sad. It's sad because now I feel that uh, Game of Thrones is just trying to get shit, like trying to tie up loose ends. They're trying to, like, just put hats on shit. And I'd be okay with not knowing that Jamie slept with Brienne and then fucking left her for Cersei. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Like, that that storyline didn't have to happen. And what pisses me off about that is, like, Brienne could have had huge babies with the wildling, the redhead, the fucking Viking, that guy. Tormund? Yeah, he loved that bitch. And she was like, oh, let me go sleep with, let me go avoid the redhead. I ain't fucking with no gingers. Let me go fuck with the the blonde guy that likes to fuck his sister. Like, that's not, on paper, that's not even a good look. Let me go fuck the one-hand man. I don't know. Um, I'd be okay with them just leaving us guessing on some things. Like, uh, whatever happened between Jamie and uh, Brienne of Tarth. Like, there's other Briannes in the TV show. You know, oh, nothing. It didn't, nothing. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Jamie goes back to Cersei, ends up killing Cersei. That's how that's going to turn out. I mean, not that you should ever listen to any of my predictions because... I'm not good at predicting any of this shit. 
but uh, I, I'm pretty pretty sure that she predicted that Jamie was going to kill her. I think that Arya is going to get uh, Jamie's face. That means she's going to kill him. And then she's going to kill Cersei with Jamie's face because you can't unsatisfy Arya's kill list and you can't unfulfill the, the satisfaction of the prophecy that uh, Jamie's going to kill her. And then Jamie becomes the king of the seven kingdoms, but it's actually Arya who sits on the Iron Throne just wearing Jamie's face. Uh, I got nothing. I got nothing. Uh, oh, shout out to my first Patreon account. My first Patreon, Patreon, patron. Patreon shout out to my man Phil from way back in the day. Uh, I have I'm creating a T-shirt just for you, just to say thank you for being my first uh, Patreon patron, Patreononian, Patronite, Patreonite. I don't know, whatever. You're the first member of the Loyminati. Welcome. We have T-shirts. I'm gonna send you out a T-shirt. It's gonna be dope. Um, thank you for supporting. And, you know, he's been my friend forever. He's out there back home on the East Coast, up north. And I guess the north still remembers. Hey, call back. Um, but, yeah, he is the first one. And um, I'm, I'm really thankful that somebody listens to this and was like, yeah, let me throw you a few ducats a year. Let me throw you a few bucks. Keep the lights on. So thank you. Thank you, Phil. I appreciate you. Uh, I just finished designing your shirt, so that should be printed and sent in the mail this week because I am efficient. I uh, took the wife to go see Avengers this weekend. Oh, if you're not on my Patreon, which if you're not Phil, then you're not on my Patreon. That's how that works. Uh, check me out, patreon.com slash Comedy. Uh, you can donate a dollar a month, a five dollars a month, and I all the way up to I don't know a hundred bucks a month, and I'll send you some stuff. You know, send you some really really cool stuff, and uh, give you some content which I'm putting together now. Now that I have uh, a Patreon member, so now I gotta come out and send make some more content just for you guys. I don't know. I I, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go with that, but. Rest assured, stuff is going to be in the works. So shout out to that Patreon account, uh, patreon.com slash Uh What else? Oh, yeah. So I took my wife to see Avengers. And now that it's Monday, spoilers have been uh, released. Spoilers ban has been lifted. And now we can talk about it. So my favorite character of all time has died. And I don't think he'll be back. So it made me very sad when I watched it. You know, it was three hours long. Uh, it was a packed house. It was a matinee on Friday and still a packed house. We, bought, we ended up buying our tickets like the week before for the second week of, uh, of Avengers. And it was still packed. They made like $2 billion in like two weeks, which is crazy. Crazy, son. And uh, uh, so my favorite character has passed, which made me sad. So shout out to Thanos. Um, I'm in this, I'm in the theater thinking like, yeah, I think half of you motherfuckers need to fucking disappear. Just like that. Just get the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, he had, he had some right things. Like, yeah, I think it'd just be easier if just half you motherfuckers didn't show up to life tomorrow. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm all about just random genocide, but, you know, it'd make driving easier. It'll make shopping easier. It'll make going to the bank or the DMV, I'm sure, is not going to get any better. But we could hope, right? We could definitely hope. Um... Yeah, but great, great movie, great uh, overall story arc. There was a couple 
cheesy parts. Like, Captain Marvel single-handedly took down a spaceship. And I don't mean, like, grabbed it out of the air and body slammed it onto the pavement. She flew out of space, nosedive and penetrated the ship, came out the other end, and then went back up, and it blew up. And then when she was charged to go run the gauntlet on third and long, all the girls showed up, and she's like, she's got help. And I was like, did you just see this bitch literally blow her way through a whole fucking spaceship made of metal and energy and high technology. Like, did you just not see her blow through that single-handedly with no helmet, no gloves, just... You think she's going to have a hard time running 10 yards? First down. First down, keep those chains moving. Like, if I was some of the characters that didn't have special powers, like Suri or fucking Black Widow, who wasn't there, spoiler alert, uh, fucking... Kobe Smolders, Agent Hill, like just girls with no power. Like, I got your help. Like, no, she's got it. She's got it. I don't know why I'm here shooting a fucking nine millimeter. I don't know why I'm here fucking doing gymnastics. You fucking handle the gauntlet. You put the gauntlet on. You sna- You have it. Put it on. Snap your fingers. Two step. You could do it all by yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was like the dumbest part, and I'm not about like. First of all, I'll, I'll admit, I'm not a fan of Captain Marvel in general. Uh, I'm not a fan of maybe is it Brie Larson? Maybe it's poor casting. Maybe it's poor writing. I don't know. I watched it. I sat through it. I've talked about it. I'm not a fan. Whatever. Uh, and then you know she kind of shows up at the beginning, and she's got a new haircut. They make a joke of it. She disappears. She shows up, saves the day. Boom. Right. That's fine. And I'm not about the like, oh, girl power. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, I fucked around too much in my early age. I'll probably have a daughter. That's fine. I want to create a, a, a fucking world where a girl can be whatever she wants to be. I'm okay with that. I just thought it was corny and ill, like illogical. Like, it's one of those things where if Marshawn Lynch or uh, fucking LeGarrette Blunt or Rex Burkhead, for Christ's sake, was uh, looking at third and long, and was like, oh, we need, like, nine yards. I'm not going to be there and just be like, put his jersey on and be like, you've got, <laughs> you've got help. <laughs> I'm not helping, bro. You're the athlete. You go do that. You're way more capable. What am I going to be doing on the sideline cheerleading? Get the fuck out of here. I thought it was corny. My wife thinks that I'm bitter, and I probably am. And it's fine. It's fine. I just don't think that that's part, like that saying where they showed all the women, it's like, (laughs) she's got help. I thought it was pretty dumb. Good message, I'm sure, right? You know? Um, Like, Lloyd, you don't understand you're you're probably right because it was so obnoxious and so corny and so cheesy. I was like, I must be missing something. And you're like, maybe you're not a feminist, Lloyd. I'm not a feminist. I'm all about equal rights. Um, I think uh, women need their time to shine because, you know, they've been put back. They've been held back. They've been held down. Uh, women in Saudi Arabia just learned how to drive like last year. I get it. I get it. The numbers aren't in your favor, right? It looks makes us look bad as men. I get it. But just that, I could have done without. Like, just that section was like, that's corny. I think she should have just grabbed the gauntlet and then, like, ran through the army of no-name soldiers. Thanos done molly her, though. I was like, oh, this bitch is going to take down a a spaceship by herself. She flies through the space-time continuum. She fucking, she tow-trucked. She, uh, 
She tugboated a whole fucking spaceship through the vast galaxy to bring Tony Stark home. And Thanos bitch slapped her, dropped her on her head. I was like, God damn. Not necessary, bro. Not necessary. But she probably should have put the gauntlet on and snapped her finger and say, fuck it. Right? That would have been the real hero. Uh, she would have really saved the day. And I would have been fine with that. But <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, where are we at? 25 minutes. Okay. Playoffs. Dum, 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 dum. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Uh, Celtics look horrible. And uh, I blame Kyrie. And I don't blame Kyrie. I mean, I blame Kyrie in general. I blame Kyrie predicated on the fact that you look at him and you could tell he either barely cares or he doesn't want to be there. Uh, it, it's, it's one or the other. And women, if you see your men and they answer questions the same way Kyrie answers questions, he's not into you. Leave. Let him go. And I'm okay. I think that with the Celtics and Kyrie, uh, it's run its course. It made it popular. He made some money, and he got out of Cleveland, and uh, it, it's over. I, I, I think that we could have done – we could do better with a point guard that will run the point. I mean, it's starting to look like Carmelo Anthony. It's starting to look like uh, Kobe when he's not good. And, yeah, he puts on some great highlights. But to win, we got a young core, Tatum, Jalen, uh, uh, Al Horford's the old guy. Uh, Gordon Haywood is a money sink. Woo! That would be the other reason why I'm blaming Kyrie. Is uh, G- Gordon Haywood is getting paid way too much. Kyrie is not factoring him in. I don't know. I don't know. I blame Kyrie, though. Get rid of Kyrie, and you can't. You literally can't dump Gordon Hayward off anywhere because nobody wants that horrible contract. So uh, I think we're done for the year. I think we're done, and uh, Kyrie is gone. He probably walked off the Boston Garden in green for the last time. I believe it. I believe it. Uh, the Bruins. Best team still standing. Uh, who, who, who are we playing? Uh, we're playing Columbus. They beat them tonight, and then they go on to Carolina. In my mind, I'm going to Carolina. Carolina in my mind. Uh, who we got in the West? Colorado, San Jose. Uh... Yeah, it doesn't look good. Definitely doesn't look good. So I think we're the if we beat Columbus tonight, we're three two right now. So we have uh, tonight. If we lose, and then we have so we have basically two games to win one, and we're good, right? So we got to go five hundred. So we win tonight. We go face uh, Carolina, and I think uh, Carolina is not that scary. And then we go off to uh, San Jose or Colorado. And neither one of those teams really scare me. So uh, I like I like our odds. I like the possibility that uh, we go to uh, we go to the, the Stanley Cup final. Dallas St. Louis. Yeah, that's what it is. So it's it's a uh, it's uh, Dallas, St. Louis, or Avalanche Sharks. Whoever comes out of those games, um, yeah, I'm not Blues. Maybe Stars, not so much. Avalanche, not so much. Yeah, I think if we can beat the uh, Blue Jackets tonight and we beat Carolina in the series, then we will be good. Let's see. So there's that. Baseball season's up and down for the Red Sox. Let's not talk about that this time around. Uh, Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're bad. It's a long season. Uh, What are you going to do? Got a parking ticket last night. Fuck. 
got a parking ticket last night. It's fifty bucks in DC. Here's the bullshit, right? I used I, I used the uh, I used the parking ticket app, and um, for whatever reason, this one wouldn't like. I I was at the show. I spent uh, whatever the two hours that they initially let me use, and it was like nine forty eight. Right? It stopped at ten. I I. I buy to 9.48, or 9.47, which was two hours from when I got there. Two hours, 9.47. On the app at 9.47, it wouldn't let me extend it. So I had to wait for 9.47 to pass, and I could buy it. So 9.47, I couldn't buy more time to 9.48. At 9.49, I bought it. So basically one minute, I bought 10 minutes to the end of the meter. For one minute, the parking ticket says 9.48. I got a receipt from 9.47 and 9.49, 9.48, one minute. 50 bucks. Christ. Thanks, DC. That just means that the guy was standing out there and just said, fuck it, I'll wait. I'll wait, bro. Asshole. What are you going to do? Pay it? Probably. Burr word. Uh, that's all I got, guys. That was a good quick 30 minutes. Talked about some things. Uh, Asian Flush. AZNflush.com. Uh, 15% off. You get Loy Lee 15. Loy Lee 15. Uh, that is the promo code. And again, I don't get paid for it. Uh, so if you guys do decide that that's what you want to buy, it looks fun. I'm excited to play. Uh, if you're going to buy it, go ahead, save yourself a few ducat or two and, um, go ahead and buy it with my promo code, uh, Loy Lee 15. That is, um, that's the promo code. I'm triple checking to make sure it works. That's what I'm doing at this moment. Discount code. Loyally f- 15. <laughs> Dope. Uh, that is 15%, right? $3 off of 20. Yep, makes sense. 15. So, Loyally 15. There it is. Save yourself a buck or two. Tell them I sent you. Show me some pictures. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Loy Lee Comedy, L O Y L E E Comedy, uh, or at Short Pale Handsome for this podcast. I should probably start putting some shit up there. You sh- you're right. So I appreciate you guys. Please keep those emails coming. Uh, please uh, check out my Patreon account. I love you guys. I truly, truly do. I miss you. And uh, let's see where my hair grows, shall we? Okay. Love you. Bye-bye.